Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which I'm gonna help you farther your skills of playing soloing while playing rhythm guitar. Okay, simultaneously, at the same time, playing solos over your rhythm guitar. Fingerstyle-like, kind of imitating fingerstyle using a pick. So I already showed you in a previous lesson, I already showed you the basic technique for this. Okay, the secret of which is the upstroke. Okay, you solo on the upstroke and you get this result. something like this. Adding soloing to your rhythm guitar. Now, in this lesson, we're gonna take it a step farther and play more elaborate soloing over your rhythm guitar. I'm gonna show you how you can do it. Now, according to your own style, you might develop different results than what I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you the thinking behind it, okay, the concepts. But before we do, I wanna remind you that there are now two weekly lessons here on Lake and Riff. Two weekly lessons. This is really exciting because um, it's all thanks to you. It's all thanks to you, the kind people who purchase my courses and the kind people who support me on Patreon. So thank you very, very much. And if this is the first time you're hearing of this, then check the links below in the description. You'll find the link to the Patreon page and the link to my courses page. I have 10 courses. It's called the Complete Guitar Freedom Course Series. And um, I'd be more than happy to send you the courses should you choose to purchase them. So I thank you in advance for anything you choose to give on Patreon or should you choose to buy my courses and uh, help me keep the uh, two weekly lesson schedule. So thank you very much and now let me teach you. Um, so more advanced soloing means not just notes, not just adding... Not just adding notes to the chords, it's more than that. It's adding hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides even. So, um, first of all, you, you want to make sure that you um, actually control the, the upstroke technique that I showed you in the previous lesson because that's the basis for everything. Okay, the upstroke. Okay, the solos are almost always on the upstroke. So if you want to add uh, hammer-ons or slides or pull-offs, it's gonna be in between the upstrokes while you're playing the chord's bass notes with the downstroke. Okay, that's the secret here, the upstroke. Okay, that's the basic sound. So it's all up to your dynamics and up to your style. Okay? You don't have to play this rhythm. You can play any rhythm you want. Okay? You can add soloing to whatever song you want to play. So um, let's take, um, again, A minor and E minor, okay? which uh, we started with. Okay? I hope you, you can hear the dog snoring. Uh, so. Okay, we played two three two zero on the first string. So now let's try to variate on that. Okay, get a more freestyle feel. Okay, try to pull off. Okay, again, it's all on the upstrom. I'm not doing anything different than what I showed you. I'm just, I just want you to try to improvise with it. Okay? Just zero and two on the first string. Okay, and sometimes three, but most of the time I played zero and two. That's all, that's all I did. And I pulled off once. And then I played it again. Okay, you can play two pull off to zero and then three. You can do three pull off to zero too. You can hammer on. Okay, you can hammer on. 
Okay? Okay, and then play the two again. You don't have to play it again. Okay, you can do the same thing on the second string with one and three. It's always on the up strum. Always. Always on the up strum. Okay, if you want to emphasize the note, you'll play the full chord on the down strum. But the soloing is always, always, always done on the up strum. Now I know that some of you are laughing there and say, uh, saying uh, it's not up strum, it's up stroke. But again, in music, it doesn't matter what you call something, the sound is what matters. So I, I never pay any attention to definitions. I just invent my own. See my f flamenco techniques lesson in which I invented terms. So, okay. again, it's always on the up strum. Okay. And you can use it to connect chords, to change between chords. If you have the open second string on an E minor, uh, well, the, the dog is snoring really loud. Um, so um, if you have the open second string on an E minor, so you can use the soloing on A minor to change to it. Okay, and then play the E minor chord. Okay, so I played, right? I just played the scale, two zero on the first, three one zero on the second. Okay, I just connected it. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't have to be a complex solo. It's just more elaborate than just over all the, the chords. Okay, so again, A minor. Okay, and then the open second string is a syncopation into E minor because you changed the chord already, okay, before the chord comes in. So you can play it um, on, let's say, C and G. Okay, so, okay, you can hammer on one, two, three on the second string. You can pull it off. You can do the same with one and zero. Okay? And then play the open E string. You can play hammer on to one, then three on the B string, and then the E string. Okay, again, the scale. Okay, so. See? Okay, it's all down on the upstroke, the upstrum. Okay, so. See? Same technique. Just sounds different every time depending on your style and rhythm. Okay, now if you want to slide, you can slide, okay, before you change to the next chord. So, C, and then 1, 3, or 3, 1, and then, okay, it's a slide from 3 to 5 on the second string, and then 3 on the first. Okay, giving you 3 and 5 on strings 1 and 2, which are inside C. Okay, inside the, the barred C chord. And you can play the open G string with it. Okay, you don't have a choice. It's, it's going to keep ringing. You see? Just keeps ringing. Okay? Keeps ringing. Okay? You can move to, you can change to A minor. Okay? Now let's try playing a chord progression using this slide as a connector. Okay? So, doesn't matter which chord. Okay? And again, I finished the, the slide, I played A minor with the up stroke first, with the second string on one, and that, that gave me this line. Okay, so... Okay, I played this first, and then played the bass. And then... Okay, 
same thing into E minor, exactly the same thing. And then the open second string. And then you can do, you can do, okay, just for variation, you can do one zero one zero on the second string with E minor. Now this is a real solo because you don't have a C note in E minor. And then you can do F. Okay, you can do um, you can do the small F. Okay, without the bar, the beginner F. Okay, you can do three on the E string. You can slide again. Okay, again, you can slide to five on the E string to move to the next chord, whichever chord that may be. Again, as long as it's on the up strum, it's gonna sound great. Okay, so you can do. Okay, and then go back to three and play G. Okay, I don't want you to copy what I'm doing. I want you to understand the concept, okay? Okay, and then you have G, you can do one zero one zero on the first string, and then one on the second string into C. You see? Now, I have not prepared this beforehand. I wanted to improvise live to show you that whatever you play, as long as, long as it's on the upstroke, the upstrom, okay? As long as you use the technique that I showed you on the previous lesson, it's gonna sound fun. Okay, so um, let's try something different. Okay, just a bit of uh, country blues. Okay, I played uh, three on the third string. I played three and four on the second string with C. You can do the same thing with G, with three on the fourth uh, string, on the D string. Um, you can do you can do it with bar chords as well. Okay, same thing that I showed you on the previous lesson. Okay, but you can vary it on this. You see, as long as um, as long as you use the technique of the soloing over the upstroke, you're gonna do fine. So now go do fine, and I will see you in the next video, the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.